So yes, by using only your smartphone, combined with an inexpensive device like this, which is nothing more than just a smartphone holder, but with a projective display screen as well of course, you are now able to make your very own customizable head-up display. And not only will it work really good, it will be completely wireless as well. Once set up on your dashboard, not only does it look good, it works good as well. So yes, there is finally a solution to a DIY car head-up display. And with this one, the display is perfectly clear and visible, to the point where no other head-up display can even come close to it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like car technology content, then hit that subscribe button because that's what you're going to see on this channel. Okay, so you will find a lot of reviews on this channel for head-up displays. And that is because an HUD is not only one of my favourite devices, but also one of my favourite devices to review as well. And a lot of you do seem to like the HUD reviews. So then, looking at this, you might think this is also another head-up display. But it's actually not. This is in fact just a smartphone holder table. But yes, also with a flip-up display screen as well. And if you're wondering why would it even need a display screen at all, the answer is because this is actually a platform that can be used to create your very own customizable head-up display. So no, this is not an electronic device that you need to plug into your car to be able to use. It's basically just a smartphone holder. However, when combined with your smartphone, we'll turn it into your very own do-it-yourself head-up display. And it works unbelievably good as well. And the display quality that you achieve by using it is absolutely unbelievable. Now before I show you how you can make your own head-up display using this device, let's have a closer look at this product first. So just like a projective style head-up display with its flip-up transparent display screen, this display screen is also transparent as well, but it's actually considerably darker as well when compared to most of the other HUDs. And it's also quite polarized and reflective to the point where it's actually more like a mirror. As you can see, waving my hand in front of it is clearly visible to see in the reflection. And it's this feature that makes the display quality of this device when used with your smartphone so unbelievably good. Aside from the display screen, there is actually nothing else to this device at all. It's just a big smooth and flat plastic table that sits on the top of your dashboard. However, it does also have this rubber non-slip mat built into the top of it as well, so your phone cannot slide off the top of it when you're driving, and it does do this job really well. Even going around corners, my phone has never even once attempted to move a single time. And as for how you attach this device to your dashboard, well it also comes with this sticky rubber pad that you just stick onto the bottom of the device, like that, and the other side magically just sticks to your dashboard. And it also works very well with a very strong adhesion as well. And it's also very easy to remove at any time if you need to. Now there are quite a few different versions of these HUD phone holders available. And some of them also support wireless charging as well for your phone. So you're able to just open it up, place your phone on the top of it, plug it into any USB port of your car, and then when in use your phone will be constantly charged at the same time as well. However, this device here is just a plain and basic universal version, and of course, that makes it cheaper as well. It will support all phones, Android and iOS, up to a maximum size of 6 inches. It's quite a big and solid design, weighing in at 100 grams, with its overall size dimensions measuring in at 150 by 95 by 20 millimeters. The display screen is also reasonably thick as well and is advertised as an organic glass material. But it is a flexible material as well, so it's actually not glass as such because you can bend it. I do like the heavy duty thickness of it though. Some projective head-up display screens are incredibly thin, so in my opinion the quality of the screen is of a much higher standard. So how do you use this device with your smartphone to make your very own head-up display then? Well aside from the obvious fact of having to set your phone on top of the device, like this, to be able to use it as a main display driver. The other and most important feature required to use this device as a HUD with your smartphone is by using an app. And no, this device does not come with the app, nor does it recommend an app for you to use either. Mm. This part of your homemade head-up display project is entirely up to you. 
Now, there are quite a few apps designed for this use that you can download from the Google Play or App Stores, but they are not all free to use. And if they are, they will also include a few ads as well. A lot of these apps, however, can be used on a free trial basis, allowing you to test out the app for a few days first, which I would highly recommend as well, as some of the HUD app features are better than the features of some of the other apps. Now, while this device can also be used for navigation as well, providing you have a compatible head-up display map navigation app installed on your phone, of course. I, however, in today's video, am going to be demonstrating this device to you using the Digi HUD app, which is an app solely designed for monitoring your speed, but it's also an app that has been designed to be used with an HUD device like this as well. And this, of course, is extremely important, as it is completely different than your standard head-up display app because the display screen can also be reversed so that it is displayed in the correct orientation to be used with a device like this. The GHUD is also a free app to use as well, but yes, with the odd ads as well. But I personally have found the ad feature with this app to be extremely minimal, and it's also an app that works well and includes a few other really cool features as well. The actual ads displayed are so small on screen that it won't even bother you as they can easily be ignored anyway. So anyway, let's have a closer look at this Digi HUD app and all of its features first. First of all, here is the app's main speedometer. And as you can see, it's set up to work in KPH by default, but you can also set it up to work in MPH and knots as well for all of the boat owners. Underneath that here is a battery voltage gauge, which is monitoring your phone's battery level. At the top of the screen up here, we have a clock and next to that, a built-in trip meter as well. And at the bottom of the screen, the app can also monitor your average speed and top speeds as well. Next to that is the settings option, where you can customize the features of the app to your specific requirements. And then under that, this feature here that says HUD. And that is the most important feature of all, because when you tap on HUD, it puts the display screen into HUD mode, which reverses everything and turns it upside down. And that is required for your smartphone to be used with this device as a head-up display. So if I turn my phone into landscape position now, and then tap on HUD like that, HUD mode is now enabled and everything is upside down and reversed, just as it needs to be. Obviously, any app that you download that does not have this HUD feature is not going to work at all. Okay, now if I go back to normal mode and then tap on settings, I can now show you the other features that this app offers and that are also free to use as well. Starting with the adjustable color of the display. So as you've already seen, you've got blue and then you've got another four options as well. So you've got green, orange, red, and pink. Now, I personally am a big green fan, but I think for now, I'll just leave the display set to blue. Oops. Like that. Then there is this other feature called set speed warning, which yes, is a built-in speed alarm. And it works great as well. But unfortunately, it's only a visual speed alarm. It does not have an audible alarm feature at all. At least not with my Android phone anyway. But as I said, it does work extremely well. So now I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So first of all, I'm going to set the speed alarm to whatever as it is now, 45 kilometers per hour. And then I've enabled it. Um, actually, I'm going to also set the display screen color back to green as well. Okay, and now let's test out this speed alarm. And of course, the speed alarm feature can also be used for MPH and knots as well. Then there's this feature as well, lock orientation. And this is an extremely important feature that you will definitely need to use as well. So first of all, you need to turn your smartphone into the landscape position again. Go back into settings, scroll down to lock orientation and tap on that. And now your phone screen will be locked into your landscape mode permanently. 
And if you don't use this feature and you decide to only rely on your smartphone's auto rotation feature, you will discover that when you go around the corner, the display of your phone will keep going back into portrait mode all the time. And believe me, this becomes very frustrating very quickly. And then there's also this feature here. Remove ads for $2.99. And yes, this is obviously a paid feature as well. But in my opinion, the ads you receive are so minimal that they don't even bother you. So do you really need to go to the cost of using this feature? In my opinion, no, not really. But should you? Well, if you like this app and want to keep using it, then yes, you should. After all, it's only $2.99 and no ads are better than some ads, right? Plus the designer, in my opinion, has done a really fantastic job with this app. So why not also support their hard work? Plus this app has been designed to be free to use as well. So definitely it is well worth it. And that's it. This is a really great app that has been professionally designed and is absolutely perfect to be used with a device like this. And by using it, you are now able to make yourself a really impressive looking head up display. And that will also function incredibly well. Now as for the cost of this smartphone holder device, Yes, it is also very cheap and affordable as well. At the time of this review, it only cost about 16 New Zealand dollars. And yes, when you also compare that to one of the other cheaper head-up displays available, and with similar features, such as the G13 here, which only costs about another $20, you may ask yourself, is it really worth the investment? And well, in my opinion, yes it is. I mean, there are advantages and disadvantages to using this device. The advantages being that this display is superbly clear and visible under all lights. The powerful brightness of your phone's display provides a crystal clear image like no other projective type of head display can even match. It is seriously unbelievably amazing. And as the day starts to darken off in the afternoon, believe me, it is incredibly attractive to look at as well. Plus, this device doesn't use cables either. And as for how good the finished result of your homemade head-up display is going to be, it really all comes down to the app that you decide to use, even if you decide to purchase one. Of course, all apps are different prices, and the more expensive ones can also include some really amazing features as well. So using a device like this with a really top-end app can result in a really impressive head-up display as well. And remember, because you can also use this device for navigation as well, that is another huge advantage. As for the disadvantages, this device is quite big in size, and at night time you will also get a reflection from your phone's display on your windscreen as well, which can be a bit annoying and doesn't always look the best either. And unfortunately, unlike other head-up displays where you can also adjust the speed, if you find that it is not accurate with your particular car speedometer, with this type of head-up display, you cannot do that. So you're solely relying on your phone's GPS functionality. Because this app also does not support speed calibration either. However, that is just with this app. So maybe some of the more expensive apps do have that feature. But this is more of just a hopeful guess. But most importantly again, because it's used with your smartphone, this may not be a great idea in the summer to be honest. Because placing your smartphone on top of your dashboard and summer temperatures will surely result in overheating problems as well. And this is not good for your phone to operate in high temperatures like that. In fact, after, after 10 to 15 minutes, and probably with a warning first, it will probably not operate at all, as it will most likely shut down due to the excessive increase in temperature. But as for the autumn, winter and spring months, this device when used with your smartphone does actually make a fantastic head-up display. And I can honestly highly recommend it as well. I have been truly impressed with it while testing this out with my phone. Especially at night time. The display is just magnificent. And in some ways I actually do prefer it to a professionally made head-up display as well. But of course I think with a device like this, that really does come down to the user's individual opinion. I, I don't know, what do you guys think? of this DIY HUD solution. Do you like it or would you rather buy a professionally made head-up display? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway guys, that now brings us to the end of another video and thank you so much for watching. I will put a link in the description area below for anyone who is interested in purchasing this particular device. But as I have said, there are quite a few other different types and sizes also available. So for example, if you wanted to be able to wirelessly charge your phone as well while using this device, 
then this particular device is not going to do that for you. So you may want to have a search around on the internet first before making your final decision. Anyway guys, if you liked this video or found it helpful, then please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.